Maryland Governor Larry Hogan is among a small list of Republicans who has fueled speculation that he might challenge the president in a Republican primary. Hogan's approval rating is high. He says he offers a, quote, model of bipartisanship. CBS News political correspondent Ed O'Keefe spoke with Hogan about his future. Do you think the president's vulnerable to a primary challenge? I would say um, t today uh, it's, it's, it's unlikely when you look at the numbers. Uh, you know, 70 or 80 percent, some percent of the Republican primary voters say that they support the president. I don't know what that's going to look like three months, six months from now, depending on how he might soften. The, the issue I'm concerned about is uh, he has a very low reelect number, I think, um, in the 30s, high 30s or low 40s. Um, so the chance of him losing a general election are, 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 are pretty, pretty good. I'm not saying he couldn't win, but he's pretty weak in the general election. At some point, if he weakened further, Republicans would say, we're concerned about uh, whether or not he's going to win, uh, w if we're going to face a very far left uh, Democratic nominee, and uh, is he going to take the rest of us down with him if you're an elected official? So I, I don't know what it's going to look like down the road. Today it would be very difficult. We haven't, nobody's successfully challenged a sitting president in the same party in a primary since 1884. So I know I'm the second Republican in the history of Maryland, but I'm not sure. I mean, that's... Probably about the same odds, I guess. And, Say, you can um, t t and you can watch more of Ed's interview with Governor Hogan Wednesday on CBS This Morning. Coming up, 